They have gotten smaller cameras, it looks like. Smaller they cameras, and those, <laughs> I like those lights, they're not nearly as hot as the other lights. They used to be about 60 pounds. Yeah. And they had them up on their shoulder and all this Yeah, time. throwing off a lot of heat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm impressed. All right, Chief. Go ahead and state your first and last name. Bob Powder, P A U D E R T, Westminster Police Chief. Uh, go ahead and describe what happened here today. We had a, I had a two-hour presentation to locals around Davenport at the hospital here, and they were gracious and kind enough to let us use their facility. And um, the fusion center. Bob Gonzalez invited me to Davenport to speak about the sovereign citizen movement, the anti-government group that uh, do not believe in paying taxes or they do not think that uh, law enforcement has any jurisdiction over them, and they have become a danger, and I think they're a danger nationwide. So I'm going around the country now speaking about uh, the identifiers, how to identify sovereign citizens and what to do if you, if you have any kind of how long have you been doing this? I've been doing it for about a year. Uh, my son and his partner were killed on May the 20th of 2010. And uh, I started right after that going to the Southern Poverty Law Center speaking. And they've, uh, they've uh, made a DVD, a training DVD for the Southern Poverty Law Center. And been doing it ever since then. And I'm going to be doing it full time as of September 1st. And why did you come to the Quad Cities? Well, the, the Quad City, it, they're not exempt from sovereigns. Uh, they have a problem, uh, just like any other city in any other county in this country does. And I feel that um, I'm trying to reach as many officers as I can to share with them the dangers of this particular group and of the, all the anti-government group. And, uh, and I have said uh, every single day that had Brandon and Bill had the information that we now have, uh, they'd be alive today, uh, but they didn't have it. I didn't have it. No one knew about sovereigns. It was a well-kept secret. Uh, but now they're being exposed for what they are, and uh, I want every officer to know about it. And then every officer has a, I think, a, a equal footing with the sovereigns. But right now, there are many officers that are caught at a disadvantage that don't know them, don't know that they can be dangerous. Uh, and what I'm striving to do is, is spread the word to them to tell them about this group. Now you're traveling the country, does the state governments or federal governments have any programs similar to this to help local law enforcement? The SLAT program, state local uh, law enforcement training, uh, terrorist training uh, out of Washington Bureau of Justice Assistance uh, does have this and I'm, I'm going to be working with them part time, uh, assisting them on training about the sovereign citizens specifically. And I'll start, uh, in August I'll start that. Okay, so there are other programs outside. Yeah. Yeah, because you were talking about earlier about the FBI not sharing information with locals and not local police chiefs not mes mentioning domestic terrorism. So is there anything else unique about your presentation? Well, it's unique that, first of all, that I'm the father of, uh, of one of the slain officers, and secondly, I had two officers killed as a chief. And um, I have a motive and a reason for doing this, and that is to save officers' lives. Um, Others might not take it as seriously as I do, but every single police officer in this country lives mean something to me. And I know the devastation and the pain and the hurt that it causes as a chief to lose an officer, but also as a father. Uh, and I do not want any others to have to go through this pain that I'm in every single day, every day, every second of my life. Uh, I'm grieving, still in pain, but uh, this gives me a reason to continue. Uh, and, and I do think that we're saving lives. And that's how I managed to get through this painful program, is that, that uh, I can see that it's working. If I didn't think I was doing any good, I certainly could not stand and watching that video over and over again. Um, how many cities have you spoken in? Well, I, many. Uh, I've got many, and I'm and I booked up through March of 2012 about where I'm going to be every week going someplace. And I'm leaving here today going to Nashville. Uh, and um, it's tiring, but it's certainly worth the effort. That'll do it. Thank you very much. You're welcome.